Why, hello, lovely humans. Welcome to Math Myths, Ooh, where we take your most pressing mathematical myths and we figure out if they're true or not. So this one comes from one of my Instagram folks who asked, is it true that 0 0.999 dot 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 equals one? Question mark. And so this is our goal. And the thing that I want to really point out, the thing that makes a big difference is that this dot 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 means that the nine goes on forever or infinite. Um, it's basically like how the uh, fraction one third equals zero point three 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The threes keep going on forever. Um, and so what we're not saying is that zero point nine equals one or that zero point nine nine equals one. Um, you could say this if you were to clarify that you're rounding, and that's fair, but this is different than this. And so what we'll show is that um, we're going to use a geometric series, yeah, to show that this sum is, in fact, true. So, cool. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so, the infinite number 0 0.999 dot 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 uh, can be rewritten in terms of fractions. And this is helpful because our geometric series, um, we want to figure out what the first term is and what the ratio of our geometric series is. So uh, this can be written as, as 0 0.9 plus uh, 9 over 100, which is 0 0.09 plus 9 over 1,000, 0 0.009 plus 9 over 10, thousand again you get the point and then it keeps going on forever okay so now let's rewrite this uh, i'm gonna erase these because you hopefully can see why that is true um and then so we're gonna get nine over ten plus nine over ten times one over ten plus nine over ten times one over a hundred plus nine over 10 times ah, one over a thousand, running out of space, plus dot, dot, dot. Okay, so we are almost there to getting this look, to look like a form of a geometric series that we're used to. So nine over 10, plus nine over 10 times one over 10 to the first power, plus nine over 10 times one over 10. So you'll notice that one over 10, if you square it, it's one over a hundred. And similarly, we, when we keep going, we find that one over a thousand is just one over 10 cubed. Cool, boom. So this is our geometric series. So in this case, nine over 10 is A or our first term and one over 10 is R, which is our ratio. And there's a really cool uh, thing that has been figured out by lots of mathematicians before us that if your ratio is less than one, then you can use the infinite series sum, which is a bit easier and quicker. So this sum for our infinite series is just um, a over one minus r. So in that case, we get nine over 10 divided by one minus one over 10. One minus one over 10 is just nine over 10. So we get, ah, we get nine over 10 divided by nine over 10. Look at that, okay. Uh, one of my math teachers taught me a really cool trick, uh, N, D, D, N, which numerator, denominator, denominator, numerator. And basically that's just a quick way to figure out how this fraction simplifies. And what we find is that we have a nine and a 10 in the numerator and a 10 and a nine in the denominator. <gasps> Ooh, the tens cancel, the nines cancel, and we are left with one. All right. So the sum of this infinite number does in fact equal one. Boom, math is, uh, the math myth is true. The math has shown us. All right, so let me know if you have any questions about what we just did here. I do have a video on geometric series. So if you're like, what just happened? <laughs> Go check that out and this will make a lot more sense. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions and keep sending me your math myths and we will debunk them together or prove that they're true. Let's find out. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.